everybody. Today we are at a place called G Street Kitchen here in our town, a um, local place. And um, it's our first time being here, but we thought we'd give it a try and kind of wanted to see how everything was. I got, this is Salisbury steak over mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, cornbread, brown beans, was I thought I went ahead and put some cornbread in there. And I really can't wait to taste it. I was getting a double cheeseburger and fries. So I think he's really going to be impressed too, or at least I hope. Okay, we'll let you know how everything is, and I'll show you his when he gets here with it. Okay, everybody, I forgot to take a picture of the burger. But how about that? That's where it was. <laughs> That's where it was, and I was finishing off mine because you will not go hungry coming here because they put the food on the plate, and the food they put on the plate, mine was amazing. Are you? I need to tell everybody that you are the main cook in bottle washer. So. <laughs> we mean Kevin. Kevin yeah. is the uh, the front. He cook all the food up front. Uh -huh. I just make up desserts every once in a while and cook the burger. Oh, that burger! Oh my goodness! Okay, this is the banana pudding. I just took a bite, and it's really, really good. I haven't had anything so far that hasn't been good. So. And O already said that he would like to come back next Saturday, too. So that should be fun. Maybe we find a new favorite place. No way. Okay, guys, this is what, what I got. This is what the outside of everything looks like. Um, the G Street Kitchen. Um, hit the, uh, I was going to say hit the 05. But I don't see there's, the, there's a little sign because for parking. And there's the sign up there. There's their phone number. But it was a really nice place to eat. I mean, it doesn't look like much on the outside. The inside's small, but you can't beat that food. But the inside is clean. Very clean. And to me, that says a lot about the care that they have with what they're doing. Is they keep their areas clean. Yep. And everything smells clean and fresh and I mean, it's very hard to find a burger that's as good as that one was and all the ingredients on it were fresh the bun was soft the lettuce and the onions were really crisp I mean it's it's hard to find I mean, and there's a lot of places that'll cut corners and put wilty lettuce on a burger thinking nobody's going to pay attention because the burger is going to be hot so they're going to be like oh it won't matter but I mean, tell them how i had to talk you into coming here <laughs> well, i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yes yes he I, does I, I, there was no like talking me in there okay there was um Orson. <laughs> wow <laughs> see this is not the best neighborhood um, but it's not, it's not to the make best, it a better neighborhood. Yeah, it's not the best neighborhood, but it is uh, a part of the, the town that people are trying to bring back and, you know, make a safer place because it uh, it really has potential with, with restaurants like that. Yeah, and to me, you know, if, if people are going to step up and really try to serve their community the way that that place does. I mean, they're not cutting corners. They're giving you really good food at a great price, great customer service. I mean, I really think that I found my new favorite place to go, the, the <laughs> Easy Pick. Well, let's just go there because yeah. we know it's going to be great. And, and I have to say that, that um, Orson is not that easy to convince to try new places if he has some place that he enjoys he's like well let's just go here you know they have what we like they have a variety you know this is where we get to really good burgers or this is where we get to really good steak um and, but me I'm, I'm a little more adventurous i want to try new places i want to see what what's out there i want to see what's available and um i mean he'll tell you himself that he, he will try it but it's mostly because i want to try it yeah <laughs> so but that's okay. It works. We make it work. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to say too, 
their sweet tea there. Amazing. Not too sweet, but sweet where you know it's sweet tea. Where you're not having to go, mm, is that a little sugar I taste in there? No, it's good tea. And it's not so much sugar, I guess, that it's like syrup. No, no. That's what I'm saying. There's not too much sugar, but there's there's enough sugar that you know you're drinking sweet tea. And we ate that burger, that big old plate of food, and um, even got our dessert, the banana pudding. Yeah. And we had all that for $22, just a little over 22 bucks. Yeah. And to me, that's that's showing you right there that, you know, they're not trying to stab people. I mean, they, they understand the area that they're in is not like a wealthy part of town, and they're priced accordingly. So, I mean, that's, that's my opinion. Um, but, and you get plenty of food, you're not going, I sure do wish I'd have got that because I'm really hungry. Yeah, so, I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry either. But anyway, that was G Street Kitchen, and if you're in our area, you know, stop and give them a try. I'm going to post some stuff on Yelp about it. I took some pictures of my plate, but I didn't take pictures of Ola's plate because he really enjoyed that burger. Yeah, he was not there very long. I was hungry before we got there. But now I did get yeah. a bite of it, so it was a really good burger. And meeting Cedric was really fun. Um, he seemed to be a really nice guy who's working hard for his family and for the community. So, anyway, next time we go, I'm going to talk to the other guy that was there. Um, Cedric told me his name, but I'm so sorry that I was not thinking hard enough to remember it at the time. Um, but that's okay. We'll talk to him because he's the one that does the um, the main food, like the hot food on the, um, the cafeteria bar. So, we'll talk to him too. And but, anybody that's cooking cafeteria style food and running the front taking orders doing the register you're working hard you are working hard i mean that is it's not easy to do one or the other but to do both is and to stay happy and upbeat and friendly about everything yeah. that you're doing so yeah really good stuff so that's it guys um we hope you enjoyed watching we hope that uh, if you're like i said in our area which you, you know we're a small area but um if you're in our area stop by and give them a try um let them know that you've seen it posted on our video that would be awesome we're not too far from memphis and sometimes people do drive cross yeah. country i mean right. if you do happen to be driving through and you're you want one of those just stop in five, five, five. yeah yeah oh. yeah i-555 yeah i-555 but Anyway, um, if you liked it um, and you'd like to subscribe, we surely would appreciate it. We'd love to hear your comments. I mean, if there's little restaurants in your area that seem to be making a difference in their community, um, you know, tell us about them. And who knows, we might be driving through your area. Um, so we would appreciate that. If you like, subscribe and share with your friends and leave a comment. So thanks everybody. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.